welcome everyone to the second webinar in Chartel's new series. Um, we'll be helping monitor the questions throughout the webinar. So please, if you have any questions, do send them into the chat box and we'll go through uh, Q&A at the end of the webinar. Also, the webinar is being recorded. So if you don't want your video on anything, then please turn your camera off. So without further ado, let's begin. I'll start off with a nice simple question. I know that everyone's here today is interested in the subject of making their business tax digital. So if you could enter into the chat box the biggest difficulties you face with the financial management of your business, that would be great because then we can kind of see where people are struggling and how digitization could help that in the future. Is there anything that's come through there, Owen? Getting paid on time. Yeah, so that's probably the biggest challenge for a lot of people and digitization has helped with that. And we'll go through that in more detail further along in the webinar. And along with a lot of businesses, getting paid on time is a difficulty. And the time that you spend, you spend chasing up on debts is difficult to comprehend. So digitization will help with that and we'll go through that in more detail. So what will we get from today? So see how to keep close control of your accounts using your smartphone. We've all seen TV ads where people are there sending invoices on the job and uh, paying for things through their phone. This is reality. This isn't some futuristic thing. Um, and having real-time information on how your business is performing financially, this is very really important for everyone, especially in the current climate. It also means that your accountant has real-time information and access to your business and able to provide you with proactive advice on being tax efficient, such as utilizing your capital allowances and potential R&D claims. And this is, again, great benefits to everyone. And how will open banking impact your business? Because this is something that's going to be more and more important and is being rolled out, as we saw through Rishi Sunak speaking a couple of weeks ago in the House of Commons. And it allows the platforms to have access to your bank accounts instantly. So if you make a payment here, it's automatically in all your different platforms, which is fantastic, or not in some cases. So who am I and why am I here talking to you today? My name's Jem, just like the diamond, so you can call me Jem. And I led the transformation of cloud accounting and onboarding our first digital tax client at Charterhouse. So our first client was a HR consultant who wanted to run her business on the go, not worrying about the things that didn't interest her, such as the paying clients and chasing and bank reconciliations, things that aren't really interesting to people who are running their business. And I led Charterhouse to our platinum cloud accounting status. So top 2% in the country for cloud accounting gives us great insight into the roadmap for future development of cloud software providers. And within six months of beginning this journey, we had over 500 clients on Xero, which is our preferred platform. And now we have well over 700 clients on cloud accounting software. And this includes businesses under the VAT threshold and businesses well into the multi-million pound transactions. So be used for clients who are very small through the very large. Um, I know what some of you are thinking. Is cloud accounting affordable? And I'm here to tell you cloud accounting is definitely affordable. Uh, so I'm using Xero here as an example, as we are Platinum Partners, as I mentioned before. But again, Sage, QuickBooks, they're all similar prices. So it's just here for reference. Look, there's different packages. So the starter package, again, is useful for a lot of people just to get started. But we recommend the standard package, which gives you everything that the premium has, but without the multi-currency uh, functionality. But again, it's all well and good. I can afford it. But what are the benefits of cloud accounting? So on average, 89 hours per year saved by five clients and your account is benefiting from this. So are you benefiting from this as well? This is the time that's being spent going through paperwork, and everything. So this is a fantastic benefit to everyone there. No more paperwork. I mean, how's everyone working from home at the moment? How many times have you lost invoices and your accountant has said, we can't clean the VAT on this and that? And going to your accountants to send paperwork is not really the best thing anymore. So for us, again, no more paperwork. 
very ideal. And again, it's all approved by HMRC. Cash flow forecasting, again, as you can see, there's benefits now of forecasting for the future. So you're going to be doing some big capital expenditure in the future. You want to buy a new machine that's going to make me 10% more efficient. I'll be able to purchase back in two, three months' time if I carry on on this trajectory. Again, with current climate that we're in, you want to know when you're going to need to take out a new loan, and all of this stuff can be at your fingertips. So real-time information, you know your accountant's status at any point in time. So again, accountants can see your information. They know what's going on. If you're struggling with something, you can call your accountant and you can both be looking at the same thing at the same time, and they can provide you with the advice. You can ask your accountant some questions and they can help you and advise you on that, which is fantastic. Improved debtors days. I mean, this is fantastic. So we had a client who was an electrician who had over a hundred thousand pounds worth of debtors who had 90 days before he was getting paid. He was struggling. He had marital issues because they had money problems. It was just causing massive issues with him personally and professionally. He said, look, I need help. What do I do? He was doing everything through paper. He was doing the job, then sending out the invoices two weeks later by paper. It wasn't getting paid. There was no way to pay him online. It was just causing major issues. So we put him onto zero, put him on to go cardless, and he was doing automatic debt chasing. He was sending the invoices on the job. By the time he got home, he was getting paid. His debt of days went down from 90 to 20 within a matter of months. Cash flow was improved. He was happy. Wife was happy. Marriage was saved. Everything was brilliant. So it just shows the real life benefit of going on the cloud. COVID management accounts for any loan requests. So automated reports ready for loan applications sent straight away, all accepted and approved and that's at your fingertip. Review profitability of different revenue streams. Again, you can have, if you're a producer, you're producing different products. You can see that this product is selling, making good profit. Other products are selling, not making so much profit. So you can look and stop selling the unprofitable products or make them more efficient in, in any ways that you can. So again, to make sure that you're all awake, please put into the chat which benefit excites you the most and what you would like to see in the future and how you would like to explore that in more detail. This will help us create some proactive advice from your accountant who will be able to see that and advise you in advance of any problems or potential opportunities that may come your way. It will also help us plan for future webinars and give you more details on that and how you can achieve these great benefits. What caused all this? What triggered this to become so important? Making tax digital. Again, this was an ambitious scheme from HMRC to have all taxes digital by 2020, which has now been pushed back. So it started 1st of April 2019, and the soft landing will end 2021, which soft landing means that non-compliance will not be subject to fines or penalties. This really is, again, your last chance to get things in order before the soft landing ends. Uh, that's a little extract of how MTD looks and your VAT reports look within zero. Again, it looks similar in other platforms, but you can see it's taking and picking up information from HMRC directly to your zero, so you can see real-time information on your software. Who currently doesn't submit their VAT returns or are not registered through NTD? If you're not, you can message me directly and we can help you get registered. Again, we've got the complimentary consultation for anyone who has registered today. So do bear in mind that we are there to help you. And if you are worried about any of these things that are coming in, do not hesitate to contact me. So for Charter House, we're based in Harrow with 50 years of experience and 50 staff. Our values, we have many values, as you'll see. We're adaptable to everyone's needs, dependable, giving everyone support when it is needed, evolving, to ensure we can support you in your development. We're diverse in our staff, our clients, and our work. Bold, taking the actions needed to ensure you get the best results. How can Charterhouse help you? Again, complimentary consultation with myself. 
to look at your business, to look at switching your current platform or enhancing your current cloud software with a view to giving you clarity on your tax position at any point in time. Also, we offer some training on Xero, and you've got my contact details there, which I'll also share at the last screen. Thank you for watching the webinar. We also have a nice Q&A for anyone. So if there's any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. So it's very easy. Uh, we can, again, we can do that for you. You can transfer up to two years worth of data. If, you, if it was to come to us, we can take your old data onto zero in a matter of hours. It's pretty simple. So again, this kind of leads on to the open banking question. Open banking means that the banks will have their APIs open to all platforms. So they don't have any preferences. It's just the case of what you prefer. They will be open to all platforms and they will be providing the information across the board to everyone. Theoretically, it does, but in practice, it's not the same. So, again, Zero doesn't tell you what you can and cannot claim for. It doesn't tell you uh, what's allowable, what's not allowable. This, these, this is where your accountants needed to be able to give you the most beneficial use of your Zero, of your cloud software. And you need to be able to interpret the information that's on there to get some advice to understand what's happening and how you can utilize your data that's there. So. In theory, yes, practically not the case. Everyone needs an accountant. No, it's exactly the same. So again, uh, we use an application called Receipt Bank, which stores all your data on there, the images of the invoices, and that is approved by HMRC. Uh, but you will need to keep it on there for seven years. That hasn't changed. Both. So again, the only thing we require from any of our clients who becomes a VAT client or a bookkeeping client is to just take pictures. Everyone's become a photographer over the last few years. All they need to do is take a picture of their image or scan an invoice over to us or onto Receipt Bank and have bank feeds. So really, there's no need for any technical knowledge. It's just take a picture or scan and that is it. So with the transition to zero, there's many different applications and it depends on, it's on a case by case basis, but as a standard for anyone who's starting out, they would need uh, an invoice storing system. So Receipt Bank is the one that we recommend and zero. So those two together. If you're a store, for example, who's a retailer, they would use an application like Vend. So there's a standard need, but again, that's where we would come in to be able to advise you on what applications you need to best support your business. So as a standard, it would just be Receipt Bank and Zero, which would be able to cater for, I'd say, majority of clients. And from our experience, about 70% of our clients only use those two applications. If you're okay. deregistered from VAT, then you don't need to obviously submit anything so you don't need to be digitally using a digital platform but the benefits of using a digital platform this time saving the paperless the, the way you work will change your processes will change you will not want to go back to manual records no, no one that we've ever dealt with has gone from using cloud software and then going back to the way things were before and the fact right. is in the future this is just for VATs at the moment but with MTD there's future plans for everything to be made digital. So there won't be an option in the future. So once you've started, there's no, there wouldn't be any need to go backwards. Absolutely. So again, it's, it's just numbers. So you you make payments, you get paid, you've got a bank, it's, it works for every business. So for example, if you've got a business that holds stock, you would get an application that supports you with the stock 
uh, stock system. So there's, again, it supports all types of businesses. There's no issues from that side. The only limitation to cloud isn't size of the transactions. It's not the type of business. It's the number of actual transactions. So uh, I believe with zero, there's uh, it's 200,000 transactions a year is kind of where they say that's our limit. We don't recommend anyone using the system more than that. The only thing that would happen is just the system will slow down, not anything else. It wouldn't crash. It just would be a lot slower. But we've got clients and we know businesses who have gone over that threshold and it's not caused many problems. But again, that's where you'd have other applications that like Receipt Bank that hold the data outside of zero and it just it just makes things smoother. I'm only going to speak on behalf of Zero. I don't know the likes of Sage or QuickBooks. I'm sure they are all compliant, but from I can only speak from Zero's perspective here. They use um, Amazon servers. So again, one of the most secure servers on the planet, I believe. They are GDPR compliant and it's all very secure. Your data is your data. It cannot be sold or used for anything other than what you approve it to be used for. So you've linked it when you're doing your making tax digital, you link it to HMRC. So HMRC have access to that information. But other than that, you it's your data, you own it. No one has any other access to it apart from you. Yes, I believe they offer a 14-day uh, trial, which you can play around with. There's demos on there that you can uh, use. There's training videos on there if you want to look at yourself and see, oh, I want to try this. Can it do this? Can it do that? There's 24-hour support on their website that there to help you, which they respond, I believe, within two days. There's untold amount of resources there to help you. I think the biggest differentiator between those software packages is that Xero was born in the cloud. It started off as a cloud software back in New Zealand about 10 years ago, I believe. It's only been on the cloud and it's just, that's what its main focus has been on. And it's, it's won awards for how ahead of the tech game it's been. And that's not just for an accounting software, that's any tech, any internet-based software. So it's been ahead of the, of the game. The other packages, they were all desktop packages and they are now catching up and have transferred their desktop package into a cloud package. I believe they're there or thereabouts, but again, the software package and Xero's um, roadmap of what they're looking to achieve with Xero has been, it is unbelievable and it's really exciting time. So I think for us, it's definitely uh, full steam ahead and contributing to Xero as much as we can. It has to be real-time information for me um, because if we took, look five, six years ago, people who held manual records, they do their accounts, say their year end was December. They wouldn't know how well they've done until up to nine months later. They wouldn't know exactly what their tax position is or, or their liabilities in any way, shape or form. Whereas now it's, it's there. You know exactly at that moment, as long as you're putting the data in, on, on a daily basis, weekly basis, as long as you're keeping your data up to date, it is, it's there. You know everything about your business. You know what's profitable, what's not. You can see your trends of your different um, products, services. It's, it's opening your business up to be able to grow at a much faster rate because you're able to identify and react to things that are happening real time. So that's, that for me is the biggest benefit. So your accounts, if you wanted a physical copy, you can still have a physical copy of that. Once you've actually taken a picture of the invoice and it's uploaded onto Receipt Bank and threw into zero, then you can rip it up and throw it in the bin. There's no need for it ever again. Um, invoices can, your actual sales invoices can be raised through zero and sent directly to your um, clients. So there's no need for physical copies of those. So absolutely no need for any type of paper whatsoever.
it, no, if you've got a zero account with another accountant, that's not, it, again, as I mentioned earlier with the GDPR question, this is your data. You will take it along with you. You would just, they would, you would just stop have, giving access to that, your previous accountant and just invite us to have access to that data. So there'd be no need for any, there's no transition issues from that side of things. There it is. So it's all there. Uh, there's my contact details. Direct dial number is there as well. And if I'm unavailable, the reception number there. So they would always get, they're always able to get a hold of me. So there's the contact details. I will be sharing the slides with everyone who's, who's registered today and uh, sending out a webinar. If anyone has any questions again, or that weren't answered today, please just put it in the chat again and I'll get back to you. And any needs, if anyone has any needs to take action on MTD, we are offering again, the complimentary one hour consultation where we can advise you on enhancing digitization to make managing your business financially easier for you. So again, to book a consultation, either send me an email, send me a call and we can arrange a meeting, no problem. Thank you everyone, again, I'll reiterate the last point. Just do not hesitate to get in contact with me. Thank you for attending. And I wish everyone a happy lockdown three.